Well, hello, Bishop Patrick L. Wooden Sr. here, pastor of the Upper Room Church of God in Christ, and I pray that you are having a wonderful day. I want to read a passage of scripture to you today, 1 Corinthians chapter 7 and verse number 26 says this, the Apostle Paul said, I suppose therefore that this is good for the present distress. I say that it is good for man so to be, that is to remain as he is. Now here, the apostle Paul was not speaking against the institution of marriage. As a matter of fact, we know that Paul uh, endorsed the institution of marriage and we learn much about how to stay married and who's eligible for marriage and all of those things from Paul's writings. But at the time at first, when first Corinthians chapter seven was written, there was something going on in society. Uh, uh, some theologians surmise that there was problems from one of the, the Caesars who were in charge at the time, <clears throat> Rome, problem from Rome. And he said, due to the present distress, I say that is it is good for a man to remain as he is. He says, are you loose? Are you married to a wife? He said, do not seek to divorce her. Art thou loose from a wife? If you're divorced, then do not seek to remarry. He says, but if you do marry, remarry, you have not sinned. The point wasn't marriage. The point was whatever was going on in society where he had, he recommended that the people behaved a certain way due to the crisis that was at hand. Now, here we are, my friends, dealing with this coronavirus and uh, the reporting of the virus, the response to the virus, the effects of the virus, and all things corona virus. You can hardly watch television without hearing something uh, said about the virus. If you turn the radio on, it's the coronavirus. It's the virus, 24-7 uh, coverage of the virus. And yes, sadly, uh, people uh, in America and around the world have died uh, due to this pandemic. And thank God that the overwhelming majority of people who have been affected by this virus not only recover, but they recover without any medical treatment whatsoever. So to God be the glory for that. We're praying for our nation. We're praying for the president. We're praying for Congress. We're paying, praying for the House and the Senate. And yes, we're praying for governors and mayors across the country. We're, pray, we're praying for hospitals and those in the medical care profession. We're praying for the first responders. We're praying for the churches. We're praying for our nation because we need the Lord. Our president is concerned that if, the, if our economy remains dormant, if jobs remain remains dormant, if the government keeps the doors closed too long, then there may not be any jobs to come back to. On the other hand, there are those who say you got to be more concerned about job about people's lives than about jobs and Wall Street. Well, I believe both arguments are true. If we wait too long, it will destroy the economy, and that will create. Uh, a whole set of uh, new problems. And if we move too fast, uh, contagion could just break out and many more lives will be lost. My friends, I think that what we have is a God problem. And I heard the Lord say that if my people, Solomon said in his prayer, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. God said, then will I hear from heaven, forgive the sin and heal the land. I pray, uh, uh, America, I pray that those who are watching this, I pray that we get it. I pray that we see what is going on and that we hear the voice of the Lord. Many, I'm afraid, 
Don't get it. There are many people today that put stores like ABC stores on the essential list where they can remain open and churches uh, need to be closed. I think that there's something wrong with that. Unless they've changed the law uh, at the time of this broadcasting, abortion clinics are, are yet open in our state. I guess whether it's Corona or whatever the case may be, there's always room to kill one more unborn baby. Oh, God, help us. Now, according to what I understand, and by the time this is, has been aired, uh, we may be under an official lockout for our state, their own lock, lockdown, however they may word it. And if that is the case, then uh, uh, what I have to say will apply to this also. If we're not under the official uh, lockdown, uh, I understand that uh, in terms of gatherings, uh, we can have no more than 50. And uh, uh, I, I, I have received information that in some quarters it may go down uh, to as far as low as 10. Now, one of the things that we, we, we've sought to do here at the Upper Room, our goal was not to be defiant. Our goal was not to be a, a, a rebel. Our goal is not to have uh, to show ourselves as being super strong and a super church. Our goal is simply to be a church and to obey Hebrews 10 and 25, which says, forsake not the assemblings of yourself together as the manner of some is and so much the more as you see the day approaching. I realize that the most sacred act of any church, the first thing we need before communion, before feet washing, before baptism, before any of those things, we need to be able to gather together. And yet that is the very thing that is being challenged right now. And uh, we're praying for our governor. And most certainly we do not assume uh, uh, maliciousness on their part or, or that people are trying to do anything evil. Uh, this is an unprecedented uh, a situation that we have. And everybody, to be honest with you, from the, from the White House on down, everybody is trying to figure this thing out. Now, we don't want to be in a position where we are viewed as people who uh, just want to break the law. And most certainly as a shepherd, I want to do everything that I can to assure the safety of the members of the church. And one of the things that I believe that has been uh, in our favor is our coming together and praying and seeking the Lord. But with the changes that are taking place, with the it moved down to 50, and most certainly we don't want to be in a position where there are uh, surprise raids and different things like that, where uh, 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 things are happening that won't look good. Uh, I am announcing to you today, uh, that as of today, we're going to make adjustments that we've had in place, that, uh, uh, that Gary and I have talked about, that we've had in place and ready to roll with for uh, weeks now. We saw this coming, but again, I don't believe that we should give away our First Amendment rights, our rights to practice our religion as we have been uh, easily. I believe that it is the will of the Lord that we stay open for as long as we can. Paul says, all things are lawful unto me, but all things are not expedient. And expedience changes with each situation. So I'm here to say to you tonight, and I thank God for all of the saints and your faithfulness and how uh, you come to church and uh, have, have you stand by, you stood by me and you uh, will yet standing. But at this time, I'm announcing that we're going to, uh, if it's down to 50, let me tell you, uh, we can't, we don't, we don't get 50 people. We, we don't get that, a, a number that low. Uh, just on the platform of, of uh, any given Sunday. When you consider the choir, when you consider the elders, when you consider those who serve in the church, the cameramen, the, the musicians, the sound techs, well, we're way above that 50 number right there before you get the preacher out uh, on the platform. So 
We are going to move to uh, the online services. We thought about breaking up the services and having several services on Sunday, but if we break them down to 50 or less, uh, we'd have to have more services then probably Brother Wooden could preach or do in on, on a given Sunday. Uh, we even looked at other things in terms of just dividing people to certain areas of the building. But uh, uh, we don't want a surprise raid where people will come, um, uh, officers will come, and they find us having more than 50, even though we have practiced uh, social distancing. We've asked people. We have. Uh, we, we hadn't been shaking hands and and high five and low five and all those things. Things that I told you that we've been doing. Uh, we've we've observed. We've observed uh, uh, every precaution, and we have not been. Uh, irresponsible, nor have we been in denial. We have taken uh, these things quite seriously, and God has been faithful and has watched over us up until now. And I praise the Lord for his faithfulness. But where we are now, I think the wisest thing to do, the most prudent uh, course of action would be for us to uh, suspend the gatherings for the time being uh, we will be bringing the word of the Lord to you on this medium and others. We have at least three or four uh, sermons that are yet on deck that has not been aired yet. We are on YouTube, Facebook, on the television and uh, on TV and radio. And, uh, and we will be doing uh, things like this, giving you the word of the Lord and our perspective on things and we will adjust to this for the time being. Now, this adjustment is not a good one. It's just what we have to deal with for the present distress. I am not in the camp of those who actually believe that online church is the way to go. I do not believe that because, number one, of the heavy censorship that takes place. And also, there is something spiritual there is something spiritual about believers assembling in the same place. I heard a preacher say the other day that uh, that is not the church house, it's not the church building, it's not the brick and the mortar, it's not meeting at the same place that counts. But I read in the Bible myself, I heard what that preacher said, but I read in the Bible what David says, I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. I read where uh, the Bible teaches that he that dwelleth in the secret place, the tabernacle, shall abide under the uh, of the shadow of the Almighty. I read what David said, one thing have I desired of the Lord, and that will I seek after, that I might inquire the beauty of the Lord, uh, behold the beauty of the Lord, and inquire in his temple. Nothing takes the place of the saints gathering together. But if for the time being, we have to adjust to this medium, then we will, for the good of the believers, and uh, to make sure that we're not subject to any uh, surprise, ra surprise raids or, or anything like that, and uh, we're going to we're going to continue to fight the good fight of faith. And my friends, as soon as the Lord blesses, we will gather together again here at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ. So tune in tonight. We will be delivering the word of the Lord to you uh, as we normally do in our Thursday night service. It may be a little different. I may be teaching from this desk or I may be standing in the pulpit at the church. But nonetheless, we will deliver God's word to you. Now, my friends, stay safe. Practice all of the precautions that, that uh, uh, we've been asked to do. Let us pray for those who are in authority, we're taught in the Bible to pray for all that who are in authority, that we might live a quiet and peaceable life in all godliness and honesty. And I tell you, I thank God 
for the born again believers out there who are standing on the word of the Lord, who are fighting the good fight of faith. And uh, I praise the Lord for the spirit and the desire to be a warrior in Christ Jesus. So until uh, Thursday night, well, till tonight, we will see you and I will deliver the word of the Lord. I'll hold what I'm turning to right now. I'll just wait until we can come together tonight and study God's word together. All right. God bless you. And we will see you tonight online. <laughs> Amen. At the upper room, church of God in Christ, from your living room, from your laptop, from your cell phone, from your smartphone. This is not a suitable replacement. It is not uh, something, my friends, that I even uh, desire to do or want to do, but it is. I have peace in my spirit. It is the best course of action to take at this time, at this time. And the Lord is going to bless us and the Lord is going to keep us. And may God's choice blessings be yours. And I'll see you tonight for Bible study. God bless.